Hi loves, Coach Gary here. So I just wanted to talk about a trending video that's going around with Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq, on a statement he made about not being vulnerable anymore when he's dating due to the simple fact that that person is likely to throw whatever he shared with them back in his face later on. So yeah, I just wanted to talk a little about that. So here's the thing. If you are actively dating without any intentions for anything more, of course, the layers do not have to be peeled back so much. Maybe just one layer. And that's probably just to show how interesting you are as a human being, that you're fun to date, you know, randomly date at times, whatever, that sort of thing. But when it comes to relationships, being vulnerable is one of the most key components you must have in order to build a strong dynamic, like to connect on a deeper level. And, and I granted, we shouldn't have to share everything with our person, but over a course of time, certain things should be said. And I'm sure your person will have questions for you. Those questions do come about like, what was, what was your last ex like? Or what happened with that situation? And you may reply, oh, my ex cheated on me with my bestie because he says or she says that I was this kind of way. Listen, my love. Just when you say that, five, six years later, maybe even longer, you guys have a heated exchange. And that person utters those words and that's why whenever you hear and that's why your ex did this to you because you whenever you hear that you already know what's about to come it's not going to be good right and and furthermore whatever is on the heart the tongue speaketh so you could have shared something with someone years ago and the reason why they are saying what they're saying the way they're saying it now is because when you express that to them, they had some thoughts about that. Like, well, perhaps you shouldn't be so gullible or you shouldn't have dated this type of person. You're stupid. They had some kind of negative thought, which is why it came out that way later on. All right. The reality of it is, people, it's one of those Cash 22 situations. When you're trying to build a long term relationship, becoming vulnerable. It's quite inevitable. So either you're going to verbally share things about you or the way you are and who you are will be expressed in some way, shape, or form with actions. All right. So it really is a cash 22. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Regardless if you're sharing something with your person or not, your relationship could still hit the bottom. You know, I get it that you're trying to protect yourself by not being as vulnerable, but at the same time, you're doing a disservice to your connection. You know, it's you may be hindering the growth and the strength of, of which it could become. All right. I, I've witnessed that all too many times with a lot of couples. They try to share certain things as a way to, you know, ward off the or what they think could happen. The reality of it is, people, is that love is simple, simply a gamble. People can be vicious. Now, an individual who throws something back in your face after you've confided in them, and the reason why you confided in them is because you trusted them. You know, you've reached a certain point in the connection phase or connecting phase to where you felt like you could express that to them, and then they do that. Look. That's a form of dis that's just one form of disrespect. You can be disrespected in many ways. And, and that one is probably one of the better ways to be disrespected. Because the, the things that I've heard from my clients, the level of disrespect, you would think they had that done to them by one of the ops. All right. So you're going to be disrespected. That's just a reality. Just that's just another way of being disrespected. You know, and, and I, I, 
I totally understand how he feels because it probably left some some scars and wounds on him especially if it was from the same individual the one he really cared about you know and then every time they have a, a heated argument <clears throat> things are said that he's shared and and I get it I, I'm trying to think I don't think I've ever really had that experience I'm sure I would remember it if, if I had but see, that just goes to show you, like, just because I haven't had that level of disrespect, that doesn't mean I've never been disrespected in any other manner or worse. You understand what I'm saying? So it really is a challenge. It's a gamble, guys. It's like I said, it's a catch-22. If you don't allow yourself to become vulnerable, you could be missing out on something beautiful. You know, it's just one of those phases that you go through uh, with dating and relationships. But what I will say is, which you probably should not disclose in the earlier stages of dating, meeting someone, is when they begin to ask you questions like, what do you want in a person? Now that right there, you should just keep that real cute in general. I don't know yet. I'll know it when I see it. You know, I'm looking for someone who's trustworthy, honest. Give those sort of descriptions because if you start to say, I want someone, who's established educated who's funny you begin to become very descriptive that can backfire and i've had quite a few clients share that with me i'm like well did you share what you wanted in the beginning and then you realize later on that they they were being dis disingenuous it was all a, a facade so yeah so you kind of want to pick and choose what you want to disclose in the beginning just for the sake of protecting yourself your feelings your experience yeah so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys um never be afraid to be vulnerable if you feel like you trust someone you're comfortable enough like especially after it's been some time you've studied and assessed their character how they kind of are and then you feel comfortable well then yeah why not do it they may not have a vicious tongue or um, any evil evil will, ill will towards you. I mean, it's different. It really is a different experience for a lot of people. So, so yeah, guys, um, just date wisely is, is what I can tell you. Humans can be quite cruel, you know, especially today. People say the most savage things to get to you, but as long as you know who you are, you should never allow that to affect you and any other dating experience going forward. All right, my love. Well, I thank you for joining me always. That is all for now. Until next time.